In the early 18th century, twins were perceived as evil in some parts of Nigeria. They were either banished into the evil forest or buried alive. But today, things have changed. Twins are seen as blessings that need to be celebrated. They are desired by many and greatly admired across tribes in Nigeria. Igbuora, an agrarian town in Oyo State, shares a border with Ibadan, the Oyo State capital, and Abelkuta, the capital of Ogun State. It is less than a two-hour drive to Lagos, Nigeria, and it's considered the twin capital of the world. The community boasts of a high rate of twins. Every single household in the community is reported to have at least a set of twins. Out of 1,000 baths, at least multiple baths, you know, it might be 50. Hmm. There are several myths as to why there is an abundance of twins in Ibuora. Some believe it has to do with their ancestral lineage. Yoruba is not a nation. Yoruba is a race. Yoruba race is part of the Jews, Israelites. So when you talk about inheritance or heritage, we are part of that heritage. Because if you have twins in your mother's family, there is the tendency for you to have twins. For example, my grandmother had twins twice. My mother never had twins. But because of that uh, genetic uh, uh, connection, maybe that's why I have twins. While others point to what they eat as the facilitating factor. If somebody tells you that it is uh, Elaza, fine, it is Elaza, but here in the Barakwa, in the whole of Barakwa, we consume Milaza. Why is it that it's only here in Ibora? So that means it might be in our water, it might be in the air we breathe in. Glory your baby. One of the water. I want to the baby. So you can see the baby. I want to see the baby. I want to see the baby. I want to see the baby. None of these beliefs have, however, been scientifically proven. The prevailing opinion is that twins are God's gift to the land. By my own research, it is that it is God's gift. <laughs> To celebrate its twins, the community holds an annual event called the Twin Festival. The festival is usually filled with a lot of merriment. Iguora twins from far and wide come back to their hometown for the celebration. This kind of festival is very, very unique. We are wonderfully made. You see people wearing the same thing, so it's a great thing to be here. Then we bless God for the program because it's a way to appreciate ourselves, to know that we are special beings. The festival is held with the hope that one day it will bring economic growth to the town. <laughs> and put Iguora on the tourism map across the world as the largest twin town in the world. The community also hopes the government will key into the initiative and invest in the development of the town. We, we are expecting the federal government to show concern to us. We have twins at the house of school. We have twin mothers that are indigent, that couldn't even feed for their children. So we need the federal government to launch a special foundation for these people. They need federal government's attention. Ah, Naomi. Yeah, no, Papa and Jawa. You know, I'll marry no land in Domaro. Domefa. So, what then that will allow me to be a Jawa, Papa, Timu, Lick? 
So when you get to a town and you see majority of the people looking alike, remember Iguora. <laughs> Ore kai de koma pada leyi